Hey there buddy, this is Piper here and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make SimCity 4 compatible with newer computers and in particular Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 So I was actually, Steam had a massive sale it was actually about two weeks ago, I bought a couple of games uh, SimCity 4 was like £2 uh, I used to play a lot of SimCity 4 a couple of years ago, made some massive cities and it's probably one of my all-time favourite games. Um, I bought it with some slight hesitation. Uh, it's got not very good feedback on Steam. And that's really down to the fact that it's quite an old game. And a lot of players have trouble getting the game to run properly. However, there are ways around it. And if you know, what you're, if you know how to do it, you can actually set this game up to run on your operating systems. So this will be a quick guide on how to do this, it's quite easy. Okay, the first thing you want to do when you're trying to make SimCity 4 running in your computers, you want to make it Windows XP compatibility mode when, when the computer uh, loads up SimCity 4. And we do this by going into your, go to your PC page, uh, go down to your hard drive, double click in your hard drive. Uh, I'm running Windows 8.1. So most of my programs are saved in program files times 86. If you're running a newer operating system, it might be a different file, but it's definitely going to be in your program files somewhere. So double click your program files, uh, go down to Steam, uh, go to Steam apps. This is where all your Steam games are played. I'm playing SimCity 4 through Steam. Uh, go to Common, go to SimCity 4 Deluxe, and the game is actually stored in apps. So we've got the application SimCity4.exe, you want to click, then right click, go to properties, uh, go to compatibility, and you want to change this to Windows XP. So it's probably going to be in Windows 8 or Windows 7, you want to make it Windows XP Service Pack 3. So that's the best version of Windows XP. Click apply and then click OK. So that's the that's the first stage. You want to make it compatible with an older operating system. Uh, the next stage, uh, SimCity 4 wasn't designed for modern processors. Modern processors do a thing called threading. It's basically multitasking. Uh, dual core, they'll try and do multiple tasks at once. Uh, SimCity 4 wasn't designed to deal with this. So you need to change how the game is launched. So go to your Steam page. Uh, you want right, to go down to where your games are, right click on SimCity 4 Deluxe. Uh, go to Properties. And then go to Set Launch Options. So I've got dash custom resolution dot dot enabled dash R. 1920 times 1080 times 32. That's basically the resolution. Uh, you can play around with these figures, get a better resolution if you've got a different size screen, if you've got a larger screen. You can custom fit that to your own screen. You want to make intro off. That basically helps the game load. And the most important part is CPU count one. So as I said before, modern processors uh, do multitasking. Uh, the game doesn't really handle that too well. You want to make the CPU count 1, and that basically forces the processor to only uh, run SimCity 4 uh, and nothing else. It basically helps the, the game run. So that's the most important part of that line there. The rest of it can be modified. Keep CPU count 1. Okay, so the next we need to do, we need to change some of the in-game graphical options. When I first... Uh, managed to get some city 4 running i started building a city and what i found is there's actually graphical errors graphical glitches coming from the buildings uh, there was basically line shooting everywhere there was line shooting from the roads uh, colored lines everywhere and the, the game is virtually unplayable so the way to get around this you need to go down to your options icon at the bottom of the screen click that Go to graphic options and you want to change it from hardware, go to render, hardware, change it to software. So hardware to software 
and then put it to low on shadows. So changing these two things, it should correct the graphical errors. And once you've done that, you need to restart the game. Those changes only kick in once the game is restarted. So, like I said at the start of this video, I used to play a lot of SimCity 4 back in the day. I used to play a lot of, um, I used to build a lot of cities. And I actually uploaded some cities to YouTube as well. I don't know where those videos are now. They're probably out there somewhere. But SimCity 4 is a classic game. You don't need a good computer to run it. It's a fairly old game. But provided you follow these steps, change it, the compatibility mode to XP, change the launch options, and change the graphical options as well. You should be able to run this on most computers. So I hope this guide has helped you. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. It really helps a lot. This is Piper signing off.